Howdy everybody, Mr. G here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over the eighth note. Let's jump into it. So in review, let's go over a few things first. The eighth note by itself is worth a half a beat of music. Now remember, we've said this in the past, for every kind of note, there is an equal and an accompanying rest. So for example, for a whole note, the equal rest is a whole rest. For a half note, which is worth two beats, the equal rest is a half rest, which is also two beats. For a quarter note, which is worth one beat, the equal rest is a quarter rest, and it's also one beat. So for an eighth note, which is worth a half a beat, the accompanying an equal rest is an eighth rest, and it's also worth a half a beat. This is what a singular eighth rest looks like. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at chart number seven, and I want you to look at measure 24. If we take a look at measure 24, we have our normal eighth notes. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven eighth notes, but take a look at the very end. We have that eighth rest. Now remember, a rest is silence in music. So let's go ahead and subdivide the very first part. In the very beginning, we have our one, followed by our and. The next part, we have our two, followed by our and. The next part, we have our three, followed by our and. And now we come to this spot. We have a singular eighth note. I'm gonna go ahead and put my four. Now, I want you to take a look at this spot. Am I gonna say the and out loud? I want you to think about that. No, because it is a half a beat of silence. So how am I gonna subdivide this? What am I gonna put? I'm gonna put the and in parentheses. I'm also going to be making it small. So go ahead and take a look at measure 24. Let's go ahead and count this. Now remember, when I come to the and of four, it's going to be a half beat of silence. So I'm not gonna say the and. I'm going to count it in my head, but I'm not gonna say it out loud. Ready? One, two, ready, and. One, and, two, and, three, and, four. Good. Now let's go over where our foot should be whenever we're counting this. So for the one, we should have our downbeat. The and should be our upbeat and so on and so forth. I'm gonna go do one and two and, okay? And I can do three and, three's down. Remember our numbers are down. In the and, our foot is up. I should put a down on four because it's a number, but take a look at the and. Remember, what do I, where's my foot always on the and? It's always up. So when I get to the specific spot in the measure, when I get to and and my foot is up, I'm going to be silent. Let's go ahead and count this, ready? One and two and count and go. One and two and three and four and we're quiet. Now let's go ahead and take a look at another example, measure 25, where it looks like the eighth rest is moved. Now taking a look at this spot, I moved the eighth rest over another half beat and I've moved the eighth note to the other beat. So let's go ahead and jump into measure 25. So we have our one and two and three and. Now when we get to beat four, now we have the eighth rest on beat four. So what I'm gonna do now is, since my eighth rest is on beat four, I'm gonna make a small four. And what am I gonna put for the eighth note? A big and. Now let's go ahead and look at where my feet should be. The down should be down on one, because it's a number, up on and, I can do these, one and two and, good. When I get to three, foot should be down, the and should be up, good. Now we get to beat four, and we have our eighth rest right there, that doesn't change anything. It's still an eighth rest, and it's still on a number. So my foot is still gonna go down, on beat number four, and then we have our eighth note, and my foot is still going to go up. So I'm gonna go ahead and count this out loud. Everybody follow along. One, two, ready, and. One, and, two, and, three, and, and. Just like that. Do it one more time. Ready, and go. One, and, two, and, three, and, 
and well guys i hope this video was helpful uh just a few quick reminders in summary remember eighth notes and eighth rests are both half beats of music whenever you're subdividing every time you have a number your foot should be down with the down beat anytime you have an and your foot should be up with the up beat if you have any questions about this please reach out all right peace